So this is about the booty bandit, P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This your boy, DJ C. <laughs> <laughs> This your boy DJ C. So we watching. I, <laughs> this is W and Y podcast. She was real. It was real right before we just turned this <laughs> podcast on, y'all. We is out here roasting yep. niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we about to watch the booty bed. Oh, uh, not the <laughs> booty bed. <laughs> he, he been on the loose for too long. <laughs> they got that niggas a criminal. When the fuck Damn. was that decided to catch his ass? Bro, y'all gonna see who we talking bandit. about? Oh my P. God. Booty. Yeah, oh, okay. he got a new name. That's not his name no more. I don't want to hear nothing about no Yo, Diddy, no Giggly. <laughs> Listen, it's your boy Cobra, man. Representing the West Side, straight out of Buffalo, New York. You already know, stand the fuck up. Yo. WY Records in this the, motherfucker. Big State shit. coming soon. January 26th, nigga. Produced by DJ CISO. Hosted by Henry Ford. Rise above hate. I don't know what you waiting for. Tap the fuck in. Tap the fuck in. Now back to the booty bandit. To the... <laughs> Put me on, DJ. Allegedly, Diddy Bruh. has been in a weird gay relationship oh, with T.D. Jakes for the longest time. And Mace just came out with some tape. But that's not all because Mace is also accusing Diddy of allegedly forcing all his bad boy records artists into freak-offs with him and holding their careers over their heads. Mace has had a lot to say and this drama just got insane. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. And then y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the God's name? So y'all come on in and hop in ASAP because it looks like some bad boy records artists are starting to speak up. Bro, he lame. If I, ne- if I never got lame nigga vibes okay. from a nigga, it was from Diddy, bro. That was it. This nigga's a lame, bro. Did he just wear... That Papa Loopa Doopa Doopa <laughs> outfit talking about I'm God and shit. Got a what? Yo, these niggas is wild, B. Got a booty. Fuck. Oh my God. He's been on loose. He's a loose cannon. People need to stop him. Um, a lot of people support those type of people, and the people that didn't know that he was doing that shit. Uh, fuck you too. You should have looked more into it. Cause some dirty niggas around you. Y'all never know. That's why me and Cecil stay the fuck away. Bro. We don't party with random women. We don't. We don't do that. Nah, nah, we don't do that shit. Stay away from hoes with the long poles. <laughs> That's it. You can't take and kick people, man. Mm. Uh, sure. What's it? He was Just sliding. The Bieber. He was sliding. Mm. Yeah, he was say- slid. Mm. He slid right through the, through the plane. Remember? Oh, I, say- well, he said, "I get you a plane." A mansion? Yeah, he, was mansion. Like, he was like, when you turn 16, oh, the mansion will be yours. What you mean? What you mean it's mine? You get, you get all this. <laughs> you get, what's all this? What's in there? You talking about the house of yourself, nigga. What house? <laughs> oh, bro, this, can, yo, this shit's crazy. Can I see dude. paperwork? <laughs> this shit's crazy. I don't think he was talking about the house. No, no, no. I don't think he was talking about the house. <laughs> he said, I got a bedroom with your name on it. That's That's fucked up. He was hurting people, though. See, and look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to look at the camera. Listen. To people that actually have to deal with this shit in real life, that is not put on camera, that actually deal with these dark situations, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me. But Diddy is a different situation. He's in the public, and since he wants to be in the public, this is what you get. You get people like us to touch the subject. Yeah, we gonna roast you. We gonna roast you along the way, buddy. Man, what happened to that that crew he made that band? What they yeah, called? yeah. Uh, from that show, making the band. The making the band. <laughs> yeah, he had a whole like rap scene crew. Then he had these niggas taking showers and shit on the show. Like, oh my god! <laughs> wait a minute. Yo, yo, wait a minute, yo, I boy. Swear. I swear I saw some crazy shit. I'm like, yo, th- this can't be real. Is this real? He yo, had to bro. do crazy challenges just to get. I, 
man, look, Diddy, I hope you ain't had these niggas, these grown ass men, doing challenges to get in your bedroom. He did it. <laughs> he did that shit. I I don't think I don't think I don't think he didn't do it. I think he did it. Mm-hmm. I think he did every single thing that they say he did. He he been giving me creep vibes since '96, my nigga. I'm old enough to to remember. To, I was a kid. I was young, but I remember the whole vibe around '94, '95, and '96. Those was crucial years in America. Yeah. Like, if you a rapper, you do what you do. You don't want to touch these subjects because you feel like you might meet the man one day. Fuck no. I don't care how popping I get. I ain't mean that suck ass nigga. You, nigga, I, I got kids, you fuck ass nigga. I don't give a fuck about him or Usher. Fuck all these niggas. What's that song? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he said, yeah. He out here burning bitches. Hey, did oh, anybody forget shit. about this? <laughs> did we not forget the man has herpes? Who's <gasps> still fucking this nigga? Oh, that's right. He do. The big the girl. Man, bro, he got herpes, bro. Why he oh. out here still fucking bitches, bro? He really have. And he's still Bruh, doing that. that I don't give a fuck about no preparation H. None of that shit. What, I don't know. It, <laughs> Yo, this nigga's tap- I think that's for hemorrhoids. I think that's for hemorrhoids. I was about oh, to say. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds so like a hemorrhoid cream. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, Lacey. Listen. Listen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to understand. We have our own minds. Bruh. We're going to speak what the fuck we want to say. So... If you listen to this podcast right now, it should offend you. Tap the fuck out. Please tap out. <laughs> tap the fuck up out of here. Niggas here don't give a fuck. This big bush no blush shit. Nigga representing the West Side. I'm going to try to get through this video. <laughs> but y'all know what we really came here to do. We really came here to roast. Let's just be honest. Yeah, we did. Up against Diddy. Yeah. This goofy, big, milk dud head ass nigga, bro. Oh my God. And y'all, they don't exactly have great things to report about him. I mean, Diddy is notorious. Look at this nigga. Bro, he up to I no never good. Tr- I never trusted him. I never, bro. You, you I can't say he that. hasn't had hits. Okay. He's had hits. Which one? Um, I'll smoke through it. <laughs> okay, he's produced hits. Okay. The biggie. Faith. Okay. And, uh, okay. And that mysterious group that came and went that he got from making the band, making the band from that show. Who knows what he did with them? Justice I, League type. One shit. of them is Who dead, knows? or two of them is dead. What? Oh, he got too much bodies on him. This is crazy. Yo, he got bo- yo real shit though. <laughs> he too aggressive for his sex appeal. So basically, you can be gay, and that's that's fine. You can't use that card to get out from what you did. So you're going to use that so gay people can be behind you. No, bro. You cannot do that for the things you were doing. You were too aggressive in your approach towards the situation. Okay? Yeah, I, get a little heated. Yo, he, yo, real talk, I don't think that's going to save him. Because you know that's probably what he's going to do. As soon as he go to trial or whatever, he's probably going to be like, yo, you know what? Yes, I am gay. Y'all going to persecute me for me trying to live my life? And guess what? what? I am. I don't think the LGBTQ plus community would appreciate and that. And if y'all stand not... behind that, shame on y'all. Shame on y'all, because he clearly going to be using that as a ploy. Yes, he is. Beware of that. Be... We saying it now. We saying it now. Before he even go to trial. That's nigga, he gonna use it. He gonna use y'all. Gonna use y'all. I'm telling you. And if it's not y'all, he gonna use something. He gonna say he, he got a disability, use, his leg hurt. Dis- so, he was abused. He was abused. That's it why was, I do this. Oh, uh, it was all mace. Nah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Ain't none of that. Listen, dog, not this time around. Y'all did too much in the dark. It was man. all mace and shine and you, you you see Shine went to jail and shit and he Sure he did. Yeah, you did. remember that? Do you remember that when when Shine went to jail for shooting that dude in the club with Puffy and Jennifer Lopez? Yep, that's when uh, J Lo had her one single popping. Mm. Remember it, that? Mm. <laughs> you know what? You said that <laughs> <laughs> one single. That one single popping. Yo, listen, y'all ain't gonna like Cobra Man as a rapper. You are gonna be thinking I, I got something <laughs> against all my legends? No. Nah. Oh. Certain people is just bullshit, though. Clearly I respect jail. Nipsey. I love Biggie. Pac. This goes on. Wu Tang. 
This goes on. Our king. <laughs> Come on now. MC. Come on now. Eminem. 50 Cent. 50. That's why I'm on this shit right now, because my nigga 50, 50 on it. Yo. T.D. Jakes is out here going to gay parties, mm -hmm. Diddy's gay parties. And, and listen, people don't understand why is the problem that he's going to these gay parties. He's supposed to be a man of God. Yeah, real talk. That's... You preaching... Playing, dog. Ah, you playing around. That's wild. Lord knows we already sin. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, if you want to party and do all of that, hey, I've seen Vegas. It's, I get it. But and <laughs> again, not to offend anybody that right, has a belief in the religion. That's it's what supposed you do. to be the that's righteous man, do. correct? Righteous man, right? That's what they say. Every time he's seen that booty bandit, he's like, I'm Oh, on shit. It. Teamed up with the villain. What? He made his own, uh, what is it called? Not the Justice League, the Team of Doom. Bruh. Team of Boom. Him, Epstein. Oh. Oh, um, he's the butt cracker. <laughs> yeah, I know about him. <laughs> <laughs> I know about that crazy motherfucker. Wait, I can't wait. believe I researched that shit. I was like, damn, he was doing this shit on this island. This oh, nigga was shit. like, yo, doc, you, you remember that evil ass doctor in Golden Gun yeah. doing the experiments on the island? Yeah, come on, Bruh. it's not mysterious. That's why. Parents were having treated his bad boy artists pretty badly. In a lot of cases, he either underpaid them or he didn't even pay them at all. There are so many talks about things that he did to his artists, like Tanya Blount, who revealed that Diddy forced her to record 50 to 60 video. songs that she really didn't like, only to drop her as an artist and scrap her entire album. But it gets even worse because she claims that she had gotten so frustrated with the album being ignored that she tried to take her own life. Oh, damn. Whoa. Damn. Damn! Niggas not getting paid? Bro. He ain't killing Bro. enough people. That's what he's saying. That's Bro. fucked up. I can't make those allegations, right? Bruh. Yeah, my family at the time. It was okay. so hard. It broke me. It really did. I went into yeah. therapy with bad thoughts and even attempted to unalive myself. I was in a Dallas hospital on a 72-hour watch. I had taken pills. I decided this is it. My son was fine. He would have had people to take care of him. I just gave up. And remember that 1999 shooting incident in a nightclub that involved Diddy and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez? I literally just brought that up. Yo. You can't make this up, people. Y'all saw it. That's crazy. This man got too much shit going on. He been doing too much. You can tell. You give man, you give a man that much power, that much money. He he may feel like he's invincible. Caught up. Average. Bruh. Oh. Y'all remember how Diddy caught up a couple of charges from that incident and he was facing jail time? Well, the charges ended up getting dropped. But as it turns out, the only reason they got dropped was that Diddy had thrown one of his artists, Shine, who was with him at the club, under, under the, the bus, bus and made he him did. take the fall. According to his former bodyguard, Damn. Diddy allegedly paid witnesses to testify against Shine during the trial. Those people were testifying, they were brought to Puff first saying that they what they saw against shine and what they saw shine do the da didn't even know those people existed you understand what i'm saying shine said it himself y'all the wild part about this and it's not like the nigga shine like dead or something this it was just locked up and then he was in another country for mad long because you know he from um from uh or africa Bruh. I'm Bruh. still stuck on this nigga. Ain't get, he ain't paying his artist. Yo, I remember when that shit happened, though. That infamous uh, press conference mm. where he was like, me and Jennifer had nothing to do with that shooting. But wait, you went there with Shine, too, nigga? What the fuck happened to that? How you gonna throw your mans under the bus like that? Oh, that's crazy. Damn, why you do him like that? that he did him so... I, Ooh. So the nigga Bro, said it was just the <coughs> three. They went to the club. It wasn't even like a fancy club. It was a club in the hood, <coughs> my nigga. 
like they went to the hood to go to this club. <laughs> Telling right. me this nigga said, I I got the backup story. Easy. <coughs> Sean wasn't there. Huh? How you ex how you excommunicado? What he's what is that from John Wick? Your own man. Yo, right. The that nigga got that? excommunicado. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Y'all fucking me up. Every time I hear some shit, I'm like, damn, these niggas up to no good. Yo. What the fuck is this? Yo, they wallet. There's some true villains. Got villains in America. You know what I'm saying? January 26th. Mixtape. Coming soon, nigga. What you waiting for? I said it. Did you hear me? January 26th. What the fuck is you waiting for? Buffalo. Tap the fuck in, for real, everybody, tap the fuck in. Worldwide, tap the fuck in. London, tap the fuck in. Dallas, tap the fuck in. We here. Rise above hate, what you waiting for? Produced by DJ Cecil, nigga. Love your white records in this motherfucker. YouTube is popping. So I know you watching the YouTube right now. You see the change? They represent shit. Family, love, prosperity, nigga. What you waiting for? I'm out this motherfucker. 50 Cent has announced that he will be executive producing the documentary on Diddy. Surviving Diddy, too much brother love can cost you. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, f- what the, what'd you just say? I asked 50. Well, cause you know oh, why shit, he said no, that. No, bro, that's <laughs> This nigga started off crazy. I didn't get a chance brother to catch that. He said this nigga took me shopping. What the fuck is that? I will be that like, nigga. Any any grown sees, you know I don't judge, brother. But you know I've been across the table with some rappers that they be off too many drugs and they say some weird shit. And you gotta yeah. catch him. You be like, yo, what you just say? What did he say to this man? Oh yeah, we gotta leave. And I tell you every time, yeah, we out. Yeah, people want to know me as a rapper. Yeah, for my my mm-hmm. fans, I'm not down with the weird shit. I'm not down with it. I don't do. Random doors and shit. Nah, so we gonna leave. Poppy quit. leave. <laughs> we gonna leave quick. And then by, before you know it, and quietly too. Success I'll, ain't what you think. <laughs> you gotta build your own success. Facts. Uh. Back to fifty. He fucked me up. <laughs> that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Why you need some clothes? I'm a I'm a millionaire, Bruh, Just his response, right? The nigga so is confused. a millionaire, bro. What are we talking about here, bro? I'm gonna buy you some clothes. Thought you needed some clothes. Thought you needed some clothes. We can't keep creating false fantasies like this in real life. Right. That's what's going on here. Right. We bringing in these false. See what he did there? It's manipulate how he's gonna reply. So in people's minds. They leave room in the chat room for dumb shit. A, a smart man, a smart woman, a smart whatever you want to be, going to read that and go, uh. Oh, we read between the lines. Quit. I seen that. You need clothes, man. You got to stop. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. It's official. The Surviving Diddy documentary is in the works, and it's been developed by none other than Diddy's longtime nemesis, Fiddy Sen. Fiddy just confirmed that his production company wants to... Sidebar, I hate when white people say Fiddy Sen. Can y'all please stop doing that? What'd she say? Fiddy Sen. Fiddy. Bruh, it's 50. What the fuck is that? 50. What's wrong? Yo. Yeah, it's 50. It's 50. What's wrong with you? Not even 50. No, Ooh. it's 50. 50. I say that shit with umph. You gotta say the... the you gotta be from New York. 50. I don't, like... What's wrong with you? For real. Sad. Fiddy oh, sad. Bitch, it, it, she's saying it like it got two Ds in it. Like it's F-I-D-D-Y. Sad, <laughs> y'all heard that shit? 50, bitch. To make a comprehensive documentary on all the essay and trafficking allegations about Diddy. And apparently, Fiddy wants to name this project Diddy Do It? But it's. Yo. <laughs> yo, 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 you gonna have me run out this fucking podcast, bro. Yo, bro. <laughs> Since this man say, I'm gonna name it 
Did Diddy do it? That's what I heard. No, 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 bro. Run not, that back. No, oh, did shit. did he do it? Did he oh, do it? Did he did he do it? Oh my god. <laughs> That's what we call it. Bro, look at the spelling. Look at the spelling. Hold on. And apparently, Biddy wants to name this project look, look, look. Diddy Do It. But Diddy is Diddy, Diddy making this documentary Diddy. just to troll Diddy over his sexuality like he's done many times in the past? Bro, that's fucking clever, bro. You know, and, 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 and let me, let's see, see, see how she said, is he trying to pull out his sexuality? No. He, he doesn't care if you get it. It's not what he pulling out. He pulling out something out that bag that a lot of people don't, don't know and did know. And for the ones that knew he was doing this, y'all some suckers. That's crazy. Y'all knew that shit was going on. What's her name? Cassie? She had that one song. What's that one song? I don't even know. See, I'll fucking know. We barely know her name. Let's just be honest. Yeah. But she'll get she a victim. Though. But it's not her fault. I was just about to say, but it's not her fault, though. This nigga fault. This nigga manipulate that shit. <coughs> Beautiful woman. Bruh. Gorgeous woman. I seen that. I seen you can see pain in her eyes. Bruh. Like, that shit fucked me up. Like, you know, we can see that. Yeah. You, you sit there, they put on camera. Look, oh, how you doing? Fuck. A woman says a lot with her eyes, bro. So it's like, all that mascara shit can't hide shit. This nigga was in that room doing wild shit. Big booty bandit business, nigga. Ain't got time for that. You saw this nigga act the clown. <coughs> Who knows what he was doing? Dressing up like Batman. He probably would know us. <laughs> Who the fuck was he doing? Or is he seriously going to expose all of Diddy's alleged crimes? Let's get into it. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you're oh, right scrambling right and scraping. Nope. That was you. Diddy is becoming the most hated man in the music. Yo! Yo. Yo, you wanna know why I appreciate Charlemagne? He Straight a fuck up. nigga too, but yeah, yeah. at least he ain't on the DL. The... <laughs> no, he not. I mean, not that we know. Of. Oh, not that no. He said he got a wife and kids. I don't know. I mean, yeah, this look... a lot of niggas with wife and kids. Undercover agents. Doing... A couple James Bonds out there. They want to be crazy. They're the opposite of a James Bond. That's what I said. I don't know. Real James Bonds are alpha. Yeah, he was just. Double agent on some business shit. This nigga a double agent on some life ruining shit. It's like if you want to have fun, my nigga, have fun. Go to the go to, go to gay bars. Fucking they would love, Eden, bro. Bro, bro the, they the community would open you, would welcome you with open arms if you're honest about the shit and not manipulative, like aggressive, trying to push up on niggas and parties that you threw. So it's your property. So it's like. He give me push a button and lock the door vibes. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Like, real shit. Like, he had press a button and you would just and hear, like, him off. Sh 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 like, what the fuck was that? Oh, the door just locked. You good. Uh, keep going. Like, like Damn. what? Damn. The door just locked. Nigga, did you just hit a button on a piece of wood? Damn, I'm tired thing? of shit on you, uh, dog, but I wouldn't want to be in the studio for the sounds that's suppressed. Oh, no, no, yeah, just like the those for our safety, you know, you know. Why, you know. Hey, yo, yo, Diddy, why, why are you in here? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out the booth, though. Oh, no, nah, I got to be here. You know what? Matter of fact, no, you know, I'm going to just stay here with you. I'm going to stay here with you. This, he better not be the type of nigga to rub somebody's shoulders when he recording. Yo, he look like the, <laughs> the, the rubbing the shoulder over the, he hit with you, right? You doing good. I did. You right? You right? Yeah, nah, you writing? Do you write? No, 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 no. Keep going. I'm gonna just. What I'm the fuck you mean? You writing? Oh, I'll leave if I hear uh, that shit. I'll look at you, be like, yo, did he just ask that man while touching his shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you writing? Oh, I heard he slapped uh, Drake in the face. Uh, Is that true? I don't know. I don't even want to get started. Oh, That's man. crazy. Man, this guy is up to no good. He's a villain. This guy is, you yeah, know, nah. real shit though. So I haven't fuck. trusted him since ninety. Dirtbag. <laughs> 96, 97 is when I was like, maybe I'm not a fan of Diddy. Like, no. Did he do it? <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga. That's not, oh, shit. You, you do hip hop. That ain't your only way to go up the, up the ladder, nigga. Bro, that one. That's a different empire. Get the fuck away. 
music industry, and at this point, it would be surprising if he had any supporters left. But when it comes to his fellow celebrities, no one is as personally invested in bringing down Diddy as 50 Cent. As you probably know, 50 has been trolling Diddy for years, so when news broke that Diddy settled the lawsuit Cassie filed against him, how does she somehow say Fitty and Diddy different, even though she's making them sound the same? Like, she's making 50 Cent's name sound. I don't like what she's not with. She's she making it sound weird. So it's... like, I'm sure I'm going to change. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go, Fitty, how much? I don't even barely 50 Yo, Cent. Yo, bro. <laughs> What's that? What the fuck is that? I'm short on change. I'm short on my change. It's like when I love my white people, but every time I hear it speak, they feel like I feel like oh it's, it's shortened on everything. Everything gets shortened. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how we say, mm, that's some good ass apple fucking pie. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, apple pie. I'll look at them like, no, nah, they'll just hit you with scrumptious. Scrumptious. <laughs> you know, we got our white boy Scuba. He different though. He is savage. Uh, yeah, no, nah, he different. He a nigga though. He a nigga, bro. He a nigga through and through. That's. Matt too. Matt is Ooh. that's a whole nigga right there. He that's ride that, <laughs> he drive that motherfucking dragon like a like a real nigga. This nigga, oh my goodness. I know he does. You know what's funny? Both these niggas got I think they got the same exact truck too. Oh, they funny. Uh, this nigga got a black one, he got a blue one. <laughs> oh, he does. He got a new blue one. Yeah, bruh. And he, he, he now he's the travel man. Bruh. He's, he's traveling truck in the stuff. country. I bruh. Shout out to Scuba Man. Shout out to Scuba Man. Doing he's truck traveling stuff. the country with Noah. Shout out to Noah. Shout out to Noah. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Bright young man. Bruh. I cannot believe he out here doing truck stuff. He <laughs> Truck stuff. Yo, he really has a truck. He been traveling. He's really having fun. That is awesome. He he he. he what was that? He went to um. Was it Michigan? Yeah. Got us some weed. <clears throat> Brought it back, which was phenomenal, by the way. Yes, Shout out was. to Michigan. Yeah. No. Yes. That yes. bud was good as. Then he fuck. went to uh Texas. Oh, no, it no, was no. Uh, Arizona. Vegas, Arizona. Yeah. He went to Arizona. Drove to Vegas overnight or something. Drove shit. to Vegas overnight. He said uh, he, he possibly wanted to stop there, but... Yo, real know. shit, this nigga would have did good in the 70s, like yeah. in the rock and roll era. Scuba's the truth. Scuba's like our Mick Jagger. <clears throat> yeah. Like real shit. He'll give you a... What's the old saying? His, his shirt off your back. Yo, Some real shit. shit. Yeah. He really would. He really and does. roast you while he doing it. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's the greatest roaster. One of the greatest roasters I've ever seen. He'll talk his shit. He'll talk his yep. shit. I love it. Great person. And, and if, you, if you ever have him as a friend, uh, brother, or whatever you want to consider him, always calls you to make sure you're good. That's a fact. Even if you're busy, he'll make he still fucking call you. That's a fact. <laughs> he don't give a fuck either. He just want to you know you You can tell him, I'm in the middle but... of a session. <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Answer the phone, nigga. Right. <laughs> You can keep fucking. I gotta. We gotta talk business. Always business. <laughs> hey Cole, what are you doing? Could be with my lady chilling. Hey, what are you doing? Bro. Oh no 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 no. Accusing him of SA, DV, and trafficking, Fiddy immediately inserted himself in this situation and claimed there are many more women out there who did he. That was a lot of acronyms and. You said a lot just now. <laughs> oh, trafficking. Bro, you know about said... that, but. Bro. This is uh, this this um, did he did he do it? <laughs> he put his hands on. Fiddy wrote on Instagram. He paid that money real quick. Should have done that before the sharks saw the blood in the water. And here they come in five, four, three, two, one. Every woman he put his hand on. Over the past few weeks, a number of people came forward backing Cassie's story. Wait, isn't that oh. kind of telling on yourself? Every woman you ever put your hands on. How many women's you don't put your hands on, nigga? <laughs> don't nobody say it like that. Bruh, like, I'm going to look at you straight in the face and you're going to laugh. Did you see what he I just... know for a fact. When he was in the club, Bruh. he looked at J-Lo and said, that single suck. Flat. Right. bro. he, he <laughs> looked like the nigga that a strong-armed a few women. And I could be wrong. And men. I could be wrong. Shout out right. to J-Lo. <sighs> Do whatever the fuck you be doing. Right? But it's a possibility that I could be wrong. He probably smacked you. He probably heard he probably did something. I don't know. That's... What made what makes him tweet? Who would know? 
right? Cassie right, knows. That's okay. Cassie knows. Cassie knows. But she also just said Kim he like slapping knows. nuts. He likes slapping nuts and shit. What Kim that? Porter. That true? I've heard that shit. I'm just saying, listen, I heard this man was slapping nuts with other grown men at a party. That's crazy. That's crazy. Talking about it's the way he's doing it. Oh yeah, come over, let's make music. Bruh. Yeah, go over there. You come in the room and shit. He in a row. Remember that shit like uh Futurama? When he always try to get uh Layla. Oh, the yeah. captain always in a row, magical yeah. bed. That's what I pictured. With the, with the little rotating what bed. What the fuck yeah. is going on? Bro. But see, at least that was man on woman, and he was he was more perky with it. He it was wasn't so too. aggressive. He was popping up though. He was super like um He always went for a kiss, so. He did. And that that's is bad. that is sec- that is sexual. That's bad. Song. That's sexual. That's sexual. Okay. Assault. Yeah. That that is okay. So now we understand. Okay. You know, I got we got Fry, women in our my, family. My so. boy Fry was not doing good things. He was not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was not. But at least he wasn't out here threatening niggas' careers like Diddy and shit. That's bro. crazy. There's a rumor. This is a rumor. Or people, shit that goes around the internet. They say that. He had an issue with J. Cole. That's why J. Cole uh always ride on riding a bike or something. Hard just in case the shit blow up. Or his brakes don't work. Bruh, why did I just see a TikTok that said that yeah, same shit? That's why I seen it on TikTok. And the people was talking what on the it. Fuck? And then I seen, you know, I like to watch my shit. And yeah. more people was talking about it. That he don't like I wanna get in cars, he gotta clear that Diddy might blow his shit up. Bruh. That's crazy. Again, we gotta stop with this. I wouldn't put it past the Diddy fuck? to blow somebody's shit up, though. I wouldn't put it past them. It, money and power and a lot of shit in the dark will make you do things. Get ready for a revolution in rap. Cobra Man is dropping his hottest mixtape yet, Rise Above Hate, hosted by Evil Empire. Cobra Man is redefining the game with the hottest mixtape around. Don't miss out on the hottest beats, raw thoughtful lyrics, and a vibe you won't forget. Rise Above Hate, available January 26, 2024.